on Blues Radio International. We continue our viral, antiviral world tour. Jesse and Audrey now landing in New Orleans to visit our friend Galia. How are you? Good, good, very good. How y'all doing? Oh, Very good. we're doing great now that we're with you. So what's going on in New Orleans right now? You've got uh, a lot of activity with the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, yeah, busy. So many gigs. We play day and night, you know. It's uh, very busy. All the clubs are open and shining and very loud. Um, I'm joking. Nothing is happening. Yeah, like everywhere else, there's absolutely nothing going on. But we have the sun and a uh, and roof and a... Uh, water out of the sink so can't complain you know like yes. that's something yes. that everybody's got so so can't complain oh well i really look i'm sorry we have the music so you know yes. i'll be desperate i mean i don't know what i would do all day i guess eat more than i do already so well <laughs> we we want to share your beautiful music with the world we've got a lot of people scared and hurting right now and we know they're going to feel a lot better as we get going here what are you going to start with today so the first song is let the demons out which is the title of my first album on roof records and uh i think you know we have many a lot of times i've been trying to revisit the songs and play it a different way so i've been working on that like the last two weeks so it's brand new but it's an old song and uh, so that's what I'm going to start with. And then I'm going to play uh, another song out of my new album, um, Mississippi Blend, which uh, I'll talk about in a little bit. And, uh, and it's a little rock and roll song called Squeeze. So that's, uh, that's the schedule here. All right. I want to make sure this old guitar is tuned correctly. So for the blues fans, here I'm on a drop C, which is a kind of strange. It's very d low frequencies and dark. Um, so drop C in standard two. <laughs> Thank you. 
Pretty amazing. <laughs> so, so you're in the heat there, so we don't have the AC on, and we very much appreciate that. Boy, that's some smoking music. Now, you've recorded with some real Mississippi royalty here, uh, right? Cody Dickinson and Cedric Burnside, Watermelon Slim. That's right, and I'm very, uh, I love those guys, you know. And, uh, I've been very lucky to know them as a uh, friends, musician friends, and just uh, as a fan too, you know, like because uh, I've uh, I've always be um, being passionate about um, the deep south in general, and uh, especially Mississippi. So yeah, Watermelon Slim, uh, Cedric Burnside. I had Lanny Malcolm too, who uh, whom I did uh, the last tour, European tour with, and um, Cedric Burnside, Cody on drums. So we shared the tracks and uh, just uh, and also um, so uh, the Mamas boys who uh, recorded my first album with here in New Orleans. Um, some of them were part on uh, this new record too, like Smokehouse Brown on the guitar. You know, like you know, when you hear like a really nasty guitar on that album, that's him for sure. And then um, Dean Zuckero, who's also like the co-producer of the album with me, and. Um, and you know we had a, a, a alchemy. Alchemy, yes. Alchemy, um, together, yeah. So we wrote a couple of songs together, and uh, yeah. So that was a uh, that was a uh, last May, and uh, I was happy we uh, we made pretty good with uh, those uh, blues charts. So little bird strings coming. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the bird hears the music and really likes it. Obviously. I used to live in a place in the Treme here in New Orleans, and uh, the rooster was actually coming in. And I remember we were doing a, a rehearsal with uh, Cedric, Cedric, and uh, and then the rooster just showed up, and he hang, he like he was like on the top of the door, and first just he did like <laughs> 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 just shook his head, and um, so <clears throat> Mississippi, yeah, Mississippi Blend, the, the name of the new record. Okay, well, our very astute audience around the world will recognize that you don't appear to have a Mississippi a uh, accent. You, so how, how did how did a nice girl from Belgium end up playing this kind of music? Um, so, okay, so I used to listen to uh, some uh, punk and garage music, like uh, the Cramps and, um, you know, the Stoogies, Iggy Pop, and uh, MC5, and a uh, bunch of bands like that. And then, uh, and then you know, like, and, and also I got into psychobilly music. I don't know if you heard about psychobilly music, it's like a mix of rockabilly and punk. So from there, well, I started to listen to some rockabilly and then rhythm and blues and then blues and gospel and ragtime and jazz. You know, it's just when you like something, like anything, you try to know the more you can about it. And um, so I just came back slowly to the roots and then I just got kind of stu stuck um, in those. Uh, well, you're stuck in a beautiful place. Can, oh, you yeah. play, can you play some more for us? Yes, absolutely. Uh, clear. Alright, 
All right, now we're back in a open D tuning. <laughs> I'm gonna play two songs out of uh, the record "Let the Demons Out," which is on the previous record, and uh, this is, uh, of course, more original songs. Um, all right, just make sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
Beautiful. Hey. Hope it's not getting too hot. It is. <laughs> it is. Okay. We well. We live in New Orleans, and, and uh, it's an old house, so AC. Even if the AC was on, well, first of all, we didn't hear anything, but but then uh, then it doesn't really work anyway. So I'm used to it. Yeah, I'll tell you what. It's hot just over the phone line watching you play. It's pretty amazing. How did you develop your style? You told us who your heroes are and the people that uh, touched you and moved you when you started to explore, but it's a different path to develop your own sound, and you've got that. How did that happen? Um, thank you. I, I don't know. Do I? Okay. Um, well, I don't know. I just, uh, I guess, I traveled a lot, and I really, I think I learned everything I'm I know through my troubles here in the, between New Orleans and Chicago, you know, I've been like in all those uh, music towns everybody uh, talk about, you know, from uh, Chicago to St. Louis, uh, Memphis, New Orleans, Austin, Texas, and then the whole Mississippi, of course, Arkansas. Um, so, and you know, just listening and um, um, Taking everything I can, you know, gathering the sound. I'm just, you know, I think uh, nothing is a uh, is there. There's an evolution, a constant evolution, and uh, I think I always try to do better and get a, you know, I use not to play guitar every time I sing, and now I'm, you know, going that way. But I use just to jump on stage and climb the, be crazy, uh, you know, the leftovers of my uh, punk. Uh, <laughs> you and uh, all of that so you know the guitars I love those old guitars uh, mainly uh, like uh, some you know like my favorite distortion would be uh, I guess um, the natural distortion of those small amps that just crack up you know uh, um, that and then uh, I don't know vocals you know like uh, you listen to uh, <clears throat> some artists and there are some licks you like record and just try work on and, and it comes naturally sometimes and sometimes now you get to work on it. Um, it's, uh, it's many ways. It's like writing a song. There's many ways to write a song. You know, you start with the melody, you start with some lyrics, uh, with a hook. It all depends. Well, it's, it's always amazing yeah. to hear good music and we're now... So many people are isolated without their bands. It's good to be a one-woman band at this point. To have your own percussion is a real blessing, right? Yeah, yeah, it's it's fun. I've been so I've been practicing that in my gigs in general when I can, you know, bring a whole band. I've been uh, been that what like nine hours a, a week, so three shows like that. And uh, but we did a we did a quarantine. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have a whole band here. Uh, my boyfriend plays music and. My roommates play music too, so we have a drummer, bass player, guitar player. We had the whole band home, quarantine. <laughs> That's right. You got your own quarantine That's band. Awesome, yeah. Well, you're delivering a lot of healing to the world right now with this beautiful music. Can you take us out with uh, another two tunes? Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Of course. Um, okay, number three is here. Number three. And, um,. Wow, so, it's a different guitar every time. Very impressive. Every two songs <laughs> with a little section to, just to keep her buried. Uh, so um, I'll end up with the uh, other original songs and uh, and actually a little rock and roll song that is not a, an original. It's a song from Mary Knight, but it's on my record, so I really wanted you know to share those. Uh, songs, original music, and so with um, the uh, international, blues international audience. Um, so I'll end up with uh, this um, little original song called The Hood Evil Man that you might have heard before. And then a song called uh, I Thought I Told You Not To Tell, but you told me that you told them that I told you not to tell. Nice. <laughs> and uh, this is also a song with uh, those records. Um, anyway, my name is Galia Bumbadi, Galia Volt, and I'm uh, here in New Orleans, and I can't wait to uh, be on stage again, that's for sure. Like, uh, uh, I guess everybody wants to be out there too, but um, bring you the music home. <laughs>
Yeah, I don't know. I think we need to apologize to the earth for contributing to global warming here. You've really heated things up today. Uh, thank you so much for joining us and, and sharing this beautiful and moving music with the world. Thank you, guys. Uh, we uh, whew, started so hot, 80 degrees. <laughs> okay. But yeah, um, I'm very glad to share the music today. Thank you, guys, for... Um, you. It's possible, and I hope everybody, um, it's the right time to uh, get an album, on, uh, not only for Roof Records, but for me, too, and for you, absolutely, for you, essentially, because uh, bring some great music home, and uh, and I'll be doing uh, more live shows with other festivals, maybe. It depends. Everything opens up soon. We'll see. Uh, well, we'll look forward to seeing you live. Thank you for spending the time with us today, and thank you for bringing some real light to the world at a time when it's needed the most with that beautiful music. We can't wait to see you in person. 
Yeah, uh, I can't wait to come to Florida. That was actually uh, one of the plans for September, but who knows? Okay, well, we'll hope to see you on the east coast of Florida then, and uh, thank you for being with us today. We love you. Take care of thank yourself. Thank you so much. All right, y'all have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.